Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. Continuing with the holiday theme, I decided I'll go ahead and do a quick tutorial showing you how to design a pumpkin. Now, Fusion already has a tutorial, sort of, on their YouTube page, um, but it, it moves a little too fast. There's no narration, and it's, um, it's hard to follow, quite frankly. So I thought I would uh, show you guys um, how to do it, or I, actually just my approach. Uh, and, and uh, actually kind of slow it down a little bit. All right, let's jump in. So I'm gonna start by going into our uh, clicking on create form and I'm gonna start with a cylinder. I'll pick a plane and go ahead and start with a uh, circle here. I'm just gonna make it roughly 100 but then I'm gonna enter it specifically in a dialog box here. So a diameter of 100 uh, millimeters, I'm working in millimeters. I'm also going to set the height to 100. I'll keep the diameter faces at 8 height faces. I think I'm going to increase that to 5. And no symmetry for now. I'm going to click OK. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to close off the bottom. So I'm going to select this line, Edit Form, and hold Alt to just bring that in. And then I'm going to go to Modify and Fill Hole. And I'm going to actually choose the fill star option here. Okay, now I'm going to go to the top and I'm just going to start bringing this in and then start modeling the stem. So I'll scale this in and notice I'm going to mainly be using just two main um, two main features here with the edit form. It's really going to be the global scale and then just the arrows to kind of move things around. I'll push this in, push this down a little bit, come in. Um, and then I'm going to hold Alt to create a new face and bring that up. Scale it back. Uh, you have to be careful. Sometimes it's easy to select the wrong thing. I'll uh, scale that in a little bit. Uh, bring it up again. Scale it in. And let's go ahead and hold Alt. Close that off and fill the hole. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just start stretching. I have to click OK for fill hole. And now I'll begin to stretch this out a little bit to give it uh, more of a round shape. And this is all, you know, to taste. If you want a, uh, a pumpkin that's sort of more short and stout, or you want something that's you know, taller. Uh, you can you can go which way you want. Um, so I'll just be doing just some modifications here, just to just mainly scaling to get this where I want it. Um, this uh, stem's looking a little big, so I'm going to bring that down a little bit. Bring this up. Scale this in. Um, and stems aren't usually really, actually let's bring this in a little bit. So you see there's just a lot of tweaking and you, I can kind of spend all day on this, but I don't really want to. So um, I'm going to move along. Well, stems don't tend to be very symmetrical and right in the middle. So I'm just going to um, grab this whole selection here and just kind of move it off to a side, maybe dip it down a little bit. Um, Give it a little turn, select this, turn this a little bit. Maybe the same thing with this, give it a little bit of a twist. And I'm going to select actually this part and choose this manipulator right here and give it even a little twist that way. And do the same thing here. Okay, it's starting to look more pumpkinish. And I'm going to click OK. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a symmetry on this. So I'm going to go to um, symmetry and do circular internal. I'm just going to click on one of the faces and it gives me the option to select how uh, much symmetry I want to apply. I have eight faces. So I'm just going to choose each face um, to apply symmetry. So I'm going to click on the eight and click OK. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, Hold shift and select this column here. 
and I'm gonna edit form and I'll show you guys something so really what I want is I'm gonna hold alt to scale this out you know and, and if I go out you know I get this sort of shape but if I go in I get this so and I get this extra face so I'm gonna go ahead and um do that and then I'm gonna you know that's not really the shape of a pumpkin it's looking a little too boxy uh, but I'm gonna navigate to the top and then I'm just gonna grab this uh, box manipulated here and start bringing this out notice if you go to the side it starts to get a little funky so I'm just gonna kind of keep it with the shape I want and that looks pretty good and that's looking good so I'm gonna click OK And now I get that, you know, that ridged, that pumpkin-y look. I'm going to go ahead and remove my symmetry now. So I'm going to clear symmetry, click on my model, click OK. And let me see if I can adjust this stem. I kind of want to move it more to the side a little bit. I'm going to grab. Let's get a better view. Something like this. Okay, so I'm good with this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Finish Form. And now I'm into my modeling environment. So let's get this um, looking more like a, uh, a jack-o'-lantern. So we're going to do some carving now. Um, and in order to do that, I'm going to first... Uh, create some planes to split this body. Um, one of the things I'm going to have to do is I'm going to plan to 3D print this, so I need the bottom to be flat. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a offset plane, and I'm going to grab, turn on my origin, so I can see my plane. So I'm going to grab this bottom plane here, and I'm going to bring it up just a little bit, zoom in, just to give me a flat bottom here. I'm going to click OK, and now I'm going to go to Modify, Split Body, and I'm going to, actually I'll just turn off the body for now, turn off the origin, just grab the, um, here I'll select my splitting tool first. I'm going to grab this plane, and then I'll go back and turn on my body, and select the pumpkin. Now we can see so it splits it right on the bottom there, so I'm going to click OK. And if I bring out bodies here, I can see that I have the two parts. So that gives me a flat bottom um, to be able to, so I can actually print this. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the top, so I'm going to, um, so I can take the, the top off and print that separately. So uh, let's go to Construct Offset Plane. And we're going to go ahead and select our origin again. We'll just use this one. I'm going to bring it up. Say about right here looks good. Click OK. And then I'm going to go back to split body. Uh, select the pumpkin as the body. And I'm just going to, I know it's this plane here. So I'm going to go to the splitting tool. And I'm just going to select it from the browser. And click OK. All right, so now I have that, and I don't need this, um, which one is it, this last one here, so here, I'll show you. I'm just going to click on this and go remove, because I don't have any intentions on using that one again, I just want to keep these two. So I'm going to remove, get rid of these planes. Um, so now that I have the main body here, I'm just going to go ahead and shell this out. So I'm going to go to Modify, Shell, click on the top. Um, I'm going to plan to print this with my Ultimaker, in which I have a 0.6 nozzle. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I think because my um, extruder multiplier is 1.5, no, sorry, it's 0.72, so um, I'm going to make this a thickness of 1.44. 1.44. 1.44. 1.44. 1.44. 1.44. 1.44. 1.44. 1.44. 1.44. 1.44. 1.44. 1.44. 1.44. 1.44. 1.44. 1.44.
point four four and click OK. All right, so that go, went ahead and gave me my shell. And now I'm going to go ahead and draw a sketch or create a sketch in this inside plane here. And I'm just going to project the outer lines here so I can kind of have an idea of, um, you know, my boundaries are when I'm when I'm drawing because what I'm going to do, I'll click OK, what I'm going to do is uh, get rid of the body and I kind of now know that here's my area that I kind of want to stay in. So I'm just going to hit L for a line and just start, you know, I'm just going to create a simple pumpkin shape with the triangle eyes. Uh, whoops, let's do that one over. So I'll go ahead and make two triangles. Um, do a triangle nose and these don't have to be perfect you know you, you can let me get rid of this constraint do something like this let's move this guy over oops to the middle. Um, no, I shouldn't have hit escape. Let's try that one more time. Repeat move right there. Hit OK. All right, now um, just to keep this simple, I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, we're going to have a happy pumpkin. So draw a line here and then I'll just do a uh, arc, three point arc from here to here. Uh, something like that looks good. All right, so I'm going to click on Stop Sketch. One thing you have to be careful is um, this is going to have to be bridged. So you don't want to make this too long uh, when you're 3D printing. It's, it's going to have to be, you know, be able to um, span this. Um, so, all right, I'm going to Stop Sketch here. And I'm going to hit E for Extrude and select each one of these profiles. I'll turn on my body and then I'm just going to go ahead and drag these out uh, just to cut through and there is my happy pumpkin. Let's get rid of the origin. Okay, so that's um, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me see if I rem can remove the, the bottom here. This I'll just keep it flat and I'll print this after. Um, and then I have my flat bottom here, so it's going to sit on the bed. So here, I'll go ahead and just kind of throw this on my Ultimaker here. Oh, uh, let's use Kiara. And show you guys. Now, here's the thing. So because with Fusion, when you start for some reason, here we go. Um, you see that when I started, I chose this plane and Z is actually pointing up. Um, so it, it always keeps that same orientation when it throws it into your print bed. Um, so a better choice would have actually um, have it, you know, if I chose the XY plane and have the pumpkin going up this way. So when it came into Cura, it actually it came in the orientation I uh, modeled it in. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and turn flip this by grabbing the red axis here and turning it 90 degrees and I like to have it facing me so I'll rotate it this way all right so that looks good I'll print this and then I can uh, go ahead and print uh, the top um, one thing you do have to be careful about I'll show this here when uh, when you do print or when you do design this, um, be careful uh, with the bottom here. You know this angle here. You don't want it to be too shallow because um, it'll just uh, it'll you know may not be able to print unless you're going to use supports, which I will try not to do. Um, so just you know you may want to play around with that angle, um, and depending on the printer you have, 
it may start to look funky if it's too shallow so you may want to stretch that out a little more um, or make your cut a little higher um, but that's it why don't we let's see how this will look so i'm gonna hit um, a for appearance and let's grab a let's see plastic opaque uh, I don't see orange, so I'm just going to grab a yellow here and uh, double click on it and grab more of the orangey tint here. So, all right, good enough. So, if you want to take a look and play around with different colors, well, pumpkins are most likely going to be orange, but that's how it's going to look. Um, visual styles I can go in and just do shaded and I can render this but I'm not going to um, but uh, all right just uh, wanted to show you guys a quick tutorial on making your, your um, 3d designing your own pumpkin uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and print this and maybe put a little light in here um, you know those little uh, tea lights that flicker like candles and uh, I'll display this on my window all right, guys, take care. If uh, Again, if you want to check out some more tutorials, um, check out, uh, take a look at the rest of my playlist. And also, don't forget the link below if you want a more structured approach to 3D designing for 3D printing with Fusion 360. Uh, click on the link below and it'll take you to my video course. Take care.